Hi, this is Fred from iVisible. Today I would like to talk about the London Carnival 2022 and its meanings, if there are any real meanings behind it at all. I needed to take the time to say some important words about this Notting Hill thing, because to me it is just a thing that has no sense, no substance, and most importantly, it does not give any power to the Caribbean communities. Engaging with a group of people who have only three things in mind for three days is useless. So what are the three important things that the London Carnival attendees have in mind? The first one is dancing. Unfortunately, it's not about being creative, wise, having fun but more an opportunity for males to freely act as if they are in the middle of a sex act with whoever is available. So it is not dancing, but being promiscuous and being able to participate to an orgy. The second thing is drinking alcohol. Of course, alcohol gives a sense of inhibition and a false sense of being relaxed and invincible, a state that may not bring the best in everyone though, as we have seen in this year event. So chaos, violence, assault and death were freely available. Finally, the third thing in the mind of the carnival attendees is having fun by bringing people together and enjoying music. For this last point, I must admit that it could be an event that actually helps people engage with each other peacefully, but this does not bring people together because of the first two elements. Bear in mind that there are children experiencing the event live. Although everyone makes mistakes, and I would not like to judge the attendees harshly without at least giving the benefits of the doubt to their attempt to integrate some sort of community development into this yearly event. This type of celebration and cultural identity in the face of racism, intimidation in Britain, is meant to constructively engage communities which are in desperate need for more empathy, visibility and opportunities to thrive here in the UK. This is why I do not endorse the carnival. Indeed, it does not help to voice any type of opinion on important social barriers faced by the Caribbean diaspora. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic has been disproportionately affecting the UK BAMEs community, according to ITV News. Plus, the current cost of living crisis makes it hard for people to plan ahead, as well as put food on the table. I made a short video about this subject called the cost of living crisis in the UK in 2022, so feel free to check it out later. To go back to our topic, the pandemic and the cost of living crisis are not confined to the UK. Back home, if I may say so, and I am referring to the Caribbean region, things are very difficult too. The rate of violence and the lack of economic leverage means that, for example, in Haiti, Jamaica or Guadeloupe, and many other islands, social issues intensify bones of contention in the area. This includes, but is not limited to, social inequalities, social injustice, the struggle of indigenous communities, tensions in gender relations, the influence of religion, a wide array of social movements such as the water company mismanagement protest in Martinique, 
the anti-vaccine protest, the anti-monarchy protest in Jamaica, and social ecology discontent. On top of this, health-wise, the region is not doing better than the UK. As per my video called, the conference heads of government in Belize, I translated from English to French, a speech made by Mia Amor Motley about the worrying effect of malnutrition that the Caribbean population has to face. Of course, all those issues are the product of 400 years of slavery accumulated by a period of colonialism. So rather than exploring the carnival history, I strongly believe that we should zoom into the social and economic problems that Caribbean people must face. Many music artists create videos that reflect on how a thug life is actually necessary to survive in the social, economic and health condition in which they are born. In fact, Notting Hill Carnival promotes those artists who also advocate for sex misconduct and chaos. The artists are either male or female, no gender discrimination here. Rihanna is one of them, of course. Please note that I took her as an example because she is internationally known and that I do not criticize her character but her behavior. If we take a look at other carnivals, such as the one from Brazil, we can notice the way in which women are overly sexualized. Nonetheless, there are other artistic aspects of this carnival that gives value to it. For instance, the chariots and the costumes are splendid. My point is that the carnival could be a platform for voicing opinions in a healthy and creative way. We could perhaps engage businesses and artists to come together in order to promote their crafts and products. Like with the pride, the carnival should have a deeper meaning. My view is that the Notting Hill Carnival is very shallow and full of nonsense. To me, it depicts black people as uneducated, violent, and problematic. That is all for me today. I hope you did enjoy this video and let me know what you think of the carnival in the comment sections. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next video.